Hey there coaches, it's Laura Bazell and I have a little tip for you to show you on PicMonkey.com. This is just a trick that I learned uh, that you can make your images really pop by blurring your background. So I'm going to go ahead to the edit tool and I'm just going to pick any old picture here of myself. Um, let's see. Here's one. Okay, we're going to pick this one of me with the T25 shirt. Now, if you notice, this is a cute picture of me, but um, the background is sort of busy. Just There's too much going on. So this is a really simple trick. What you do is you go over to uh, the effects, and there's all kinds of different ones. And these are fun to play with. Uh, you can mess around with these but go ahead to soften and you're gonna want to make it a hundred percent softness and see right there is so blurry right so what you can do after you blur the entire picture you can go to the little paintbrush here and this is gonna take away what you just did so I'm going to then come take away and you can make your brush size as large as you want. What When I am taking away something that I did, I always follow the outside of the circle and just bring the outside of the circle all the way around. You can also just position your circle and, and click. So you can position and click. It's just, it's all up to you on how steady your hand is. Um, but like in a spot like this, it's I'm going to just position and click it. And with the blur, it's not that big of a deal if it's not the most perfect line. Um, it's not the same way as when you're erasing something. Um, you're going to have more room for error here. And so you just go ahead and erase. And then you have your clear image and your background is blurred. And that's just a little trick. Hope that helps.